This is the Fertile Mindset Podcast, where we explore all the emotional aspects of fertility to support you on your path to parenthood. My name is Sarah Holland. I'm the Fertile Mindset Coach and a mother to two children after my own fertility challenges. I hope you find all the support and inspiration you need within this podcast to carry you forward on your fertility journey towards your own successful outcome. It's also my wish that through listening to these episodes, you rediscover how to enjoy life now and live it to the full while you wait for your baby. Now, let's begin today's episode. Please be aware that today's episode contains a practical application of using EFT tapping. If you are new to EFT and have any kind of mental health or psychiatric diagnosis, you may wish to consult your doctor before using EFT or indeed any new approach to emotional well-being. Please do not take part in the exercise in this episode while driving and by taking part you assume full responsibility for your own well-being. Hello and welcome back to the Fertile Mindset podcast. This is the third episode in a series of three looking at mindset work for fertility. In episode one, we looked at the why. Why do we seek out emotional support and do mindset work on a fertility journey? In episode two last week, we then looked at the what, what you might want to focus on when doing mindset work for your fertility, what approach to take and what you could address both inside and outside of your fertility journey. And now here we are at week three with the third episode focusing on the how of mindset work for fertility. Now, I promised you that this would be a practical session and I'm going to share something and do something with you today that I have never done within this podcast, mainly because my intention for this podcast is for it to be a source of inspiration that you can listen to maybe while doing other things like driving, walking, cooking. I know that's how I love to listen to podcasts myself. However, today, to round off this series, I want to give you a real experience of doing the mindset work so you can see how it works for you and how once you've learnt and experienced this approach, you can continue to use it yourself whenever you wish. In fact, this is going to be a practical session that you could listen back to and use time and time again. I'll include a timestamp in the description so that you can easily find the practical section of this episode. So what am I talking about and what are we going to be doing today? Well, now you've got clear in the previous two episodes about why mindset work is important to you right now, what your main motivation is, whether it's to support you first or to support your fertility, and you've thought about what is most important for you to address in relation to your thoughts, feelings and beliefs around your fertility, what is causing you the most stress or worry and what is always at the front of your mind. And if you have identified that issue, or maybe you have several, because most of us do, then today is going to focus on how you can work through that issue to remove the emotional intensity and bring your emotions and your mindset into a state of balance. Because that's what the approach I use at Fertile Mindset does. It recognises and acknowledges the emotional challenge or pain you are feeling and then works to bring your mind back into balance so that you can connect to your most healthy and supportive perspective. This means that emotions that are no longer needed or are not supporting you, such as fear, worry, anger and sadness, can be released, making space for your naturally supportive and positive thoughts and feelings to emerge. The approach I use doesn't use positive affirmations or any other way of trying to instill a positive mindset as a main strategy, but rather sees them as something that can take root once you've released all the unwanted thoughts and emotions. Positive affirmations, mantras or any other similar practice work best when negative thoughts are not trying to overpower them. So in my approach to mindset work, we first recognise, acknowledge and then release the negative and unneeded thoughts and emotions, making way for your own naturally supportive mindset to come forward. So what is this approach and how does it work to release negative emotions? The technique I use in all my coaching and support at Fertile Mindset is called EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques and also is often called tapping or meridian tapping. It uses the meridian energy system as used in acupuncture, but instead of inserting needles along the meridian lines, EFT uses tapping with your own fingertips on key meridian points on the head, 
face, upper body and hands, all points that are easy to find and tap. And this tapping brings about balance in each of the meridians and the whole energy system. This balance is what supports us in then releasing emotions that are not needed and connecting us to our most healthy, natural emotions and mindset. The theory behind EFT, which was developed in the early 1990s, is that all negative emotions we experience are caused by a disruption in our body's energy system. I'll repeat that again. All negative emotions we experience are caused by a disruption in our body's energy system. The disruption is the reason we experience the negative or uncomfortable emotions. So it's the disruption in our energy system, in our meridian system, that we want to remove. Now, if you're like me and have trouble imagining what the meridian system is and how it works, I want to invite you to think of it as being your body's inner wiring system for energy. A bit like the electrical wiring system we have in our homes to carry electricity, energy to every room. It ensures that everything in our house can work, the lights, the TV, our appliances, just as our body's energy system works to keep us healthy in both our mind and body. If there is a disruption going on in our home's electrics, that would be a short circuit or a power surge. So that's how I think of the disruptions in our body's energy system. And the tapping on the ends of all the major meridian lines sends an impulse down each line to balance and calm it. Now, how we actually apply EFT is in three stages. We'll be doing each of them together in this episode, so you will have a full experience of using EFT, maybe for the first time, and seeing how it works for you. And once you see that EFT does work for you, you know that you can then use it for any emotional challenge. It's limitless what you can use EFT to support you with for both issues related to your fertility and in your wider life too. So, the first stage of EFT is the preparation. And if you'd like to take part in this exercise now, please follow along with these steps to prepare and choose what you want to focus your tapping on. So, preparation is choosing the issue that you want to tap on. What is causing you worry or frustration right now? What uncomfortable thoughts are at the front of your mind? Choose one issue or challenge and be as specific as possible. So instead of choosing something like, I'm worried about my upcoming IVF cycle, drill down to a specific detail, the aspect that is worrying you the most. This could be the fear of the unknown if this is new to you, or worry about the injections, about the side effects, or maybe you're thinking ahead to the two-week wait. Choose the issue and the main aspect or detail of it, and then notice what feeling or emotion arises, and give a name to it if you can, whether it's worry, fear, frustration, sadness or something else, and then grade how strong that feeling is on a 0 to 10 scale. 0 is calm and neutral, that's where you'd like to be, whereas 10 is the strongest, most intense feeling possible. Just choose where you think you are on that scale. And then the next stage is actually doing the EFT, the tapping. And first I'm going to talk you through where each of the tapping points are. Now, if you would like a visual alongside my description, then go to the page for this episode on my website and you'll see a picture of all the tapping points. The page where you can find this is at fertilemindset.com slash episode dash 20, two zero. Okay, so the first point we tap on is on the side of the hand, either hand, left or right, halfway between the bottom of your little finger and the start of your wrist. We call this point the karate chop point, not because it has anything to do with martial arts, but because if you were to do a karate chop on a piece of wood, this is the part of your hand that would make contact. So it makes it easy to remember where it is. The next point we tap on is on the top of the head, in the center, slightly towards the back around the crown of your head. And here we use all our fingertips on one hand to tap around the whole crown area. Next, we tap on the eyebrow point, which is on the inside end of both eyes. You can tap both or just one side, your choice, using two fingertips, the index finger and the middle finger is easiest. Then we have the side of the eye point, which is on the outside corner of the eye, just where the eye socket bone starts. Again, you can tap one side or both together. 
then following the eye socket bone down and round to the under the eye point, which if you're looking straight ahead is directly under your pupil, tapping a point at just the top of your cheekbone. You can tap both sides here or just one. Then we have a single point under the nose in the centre between the nose and your top lip and directly underneath there is the chin point in the indentation under the bottom lip tapping on the top of the chin bone. Then next we go to the collarbone point which can be found by going to the U-shaped groove at the bottom of your throat at the centre of your collarbone. From the bottom of that U-shaped notch, you go down three or four centimetres, then across either left or right three or four centimetres, and you'll find that you're in a dip just under the collarbone. This is the collarbone point, but as it can be tricky to find, I suggest using your whole hand flattened out to tap the whole area just off centre, just under the collarbone, then you know you are tapping the right spot. The last tapping point is the underarm point. To find this point, you go from the armpit down the side of the body following the seam of your clothes. When you get to a point where a bra would be, this is the right spot. Tap with all four fingertips in a row to tap what could be the whole width of the bra in line with the seam of your clothes. Now, that's all the tapping points, and what we do to apply EFT is start with the karate chop point on the side of the hand while saying a setup phrase three times out loud. The setup phrase always has a similar format and is something like, even though I have this emotion about this issue, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And you would replace the words emotion and issue with what you are focusing on and the feeling you have around it. So a setup phrase could be, if I were using the example again of preparing for an IVF cycle, even though I feel nervous about the IVF cycle and all the needles, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. You say it three times while tapping on the karate chop point continuously. The tapping should be at a speed and pressure that feels comfortable to you. It doesn't have to be too hard, just firm enough that you can feel the tapping resonating. Now, once you have completed the setup, we then tap on all the other points from the top of the head all the way down to the underarm point, tapping each point in the same order from the head down at least seven or eight times before moving on to the next point. But don't worry about counting. I will move you through the points at the right speed. When you tap each point, it's important to stay focused on the issue you want to address. So you say words or short phrases while you tap on each point. So it could be that you tap on top of the head and say, I'm nervous about this IVF cycle. Then tap the eyebrow point saying, I'm nervous about all the needles. Then the side of the eye, I can't imagine giving myself all these injections. And so on through all the points. And you may want to go round two or three times back to the top of the head and round all the points again. Once you've tapped two or three rounds or it just feels like a good time to stop, Stop tapping, take a deep breath right down to your belly and exhale. Take a sip of water as it's good to keep well hydrated as you tap. And then we move on to stage three of using EFT, which is the checking and testing. This part is so important so that you can be aware of any shifts in your thoughts or feelings and see whether you need to do another round of EFT or not. So to check in after tapping, bring the issue you are addressing back into your mind. Think about it in the same way you did at the start and see what your reaction is to it now. Do you still have the same feelings or have they changed? And if there's any discomfort still there, where would you grade it on the 0 to 10 scale? If the number has come down, the intensity has decreased and maybe even the emotion itself has changed, maybe gone from fear to feeling nervous or anger to sadness as often can happen, but it's still above a zero, then do another round of tapping. In fact, keep doing more rounds until you get to a zero or as close as possible. It only takes a couple of minutes to do each round and that one extra can be so useful and bring about a complete mindset shift that you might not have imagined was possible. But then is a complete game changer for how you view the issue and the impact it has on you, your fertility journey and your life. If there's one piece of advice I'd give you to open up all the potential that's possible to you, it's to always do one extra round of tapping than you think you need. 
even if you're at a one on the scale or a 0.5, do another round and you'll be amazed by the spacious, resilient, clear and creative mindset that comes forward that can help you deal with even the biggest challenges you are facing. Other advice I'd give to make sure your tapping is as effective as possible is to make sure that you are focusing on one specific aspect of the issue as you tap. Don't go too wide, too general with your tapping, or you'll see that your results are slower. Remember, each round of tapping just takes a couple of minutes, so you could focus on one aspect of an issue, and then when that feels resolved, you can move on to the others. It won't take long at all. Okay, so we've covered all the basics of how to use EFT tapping, and we're ready to use it now. If you'd like to have more learning resources and support in using EFT for your fertility, then do check out my membership, The Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. You'll often hear me talking about the free level of membership within the sanctuary, which gives you a great start in learning and using EFT. But right now you can also join as a full subscription member too and access a huge library of fertility EFT resources and all the live support too, including weekly Tapping Tuesday live tap along videos and the twice monthly support circles where you bring what you need to the sessions. And I tap with you to reduce stress and bring more calm into your fertility journey. There is so much support within the full sanctuary membership and it's priced at £29 a month with no minimum time. Just pay month to month and stay as long as you wish. The sanctuary is only open now to new paying members until 6pm UK time today, which is Thursday the 29th of April. And then we'll be closing the doors so I can focus on welcoming our new members and supporting everyone. So if you'd like to have full support in using EFT for emotional well-being on your fertility journey, then do check out the sanctuary now at fertilemindset.com slash sanctuary. If you're listening to this podcast at a later time when the sanctuary is closed to new paying members, then you can also follow that link to sign up for the free membership level, receive starter fertility EFT resources, and then be on a waiting list for when we reopen the full membership. Okay, so on with using EFT together now. I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on and feel free to let me know, post and tag me on Instagram or private message me on Insta or email me at mail at fertilemindset.com with anything you would like to share. So the first stage is the preparation. Choose the issue you want to address now. Choose a specific part or aspect of that issue and give a name to the main emotion you feel. Grade how strong it feels on the 0 to 10 scale. Feel free to pause this podcast if you want to take time to prepare. Okay, so now we are going to tap on this issue. Make sure you are sitting comfortably, ideally with your feet flat to the floor, feeling grounded and supported. Now tap on the karate chop point on the side of your hand and repeat this setup phrase after me, replacing the words to make it more personal to you and your focus. Even though, as I bring this issue to mind, I notice and connect with the emotion I feel, I accept how I feel in this moment, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And again, keep tapping on the side of your hand and repeat this. Even though, as I focus on this issue and I feel this emotion, I accept how I feel in this moment and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And one more time, even though, as I think about this issue now, and I connect with the feelings I have around it. I accept everything I feel and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now tap on the top of the head point and say, focusing on this issue now. The eyebrow point 
and connecting with the emotion. The side of the eye, everything I feel about this issue. Under the eye, connecting with the issue and feeling the emotion. Under the nose, noticing how this issue makes me feel. And the chin point, accepting and understanding these feelings. Collarbone with your whole hand as I focus on this issue. Underarm point, bringing this issue to mind. Back to the top of the head, I acknowledge everything I think and feel. Eyebrow point, I wonder if I need to feel this way. Side of the eye, whether there is anything around this issue that I could release. Under the eye, as I connect with this issue and how it makes me feel now. Under the nose, I'm open to all potential and possibilities. The chin point, noticing the feelings, understanding why they're there. Collarbone, and open now to releasing what I don't need. Underarm point, as I focus on this issue now. Top of the head, I'm open to all possibilities. Okay, stop tapping there and take a deep breath right down to your belly and release. Now have a sip of water if you have some nearby and then take a moment to think back to the issue you were tapping on in the same way you did at the start. Notice what thoughts and feelings are coming to mind now and whether they have changed in any way and how strong they now feel on the 0 to 10 scale. If the number has come down, that's great, you're on the right track. And if it's anywhere above a zero, do another round of tapping by skipping back on this podcast if you wish. If it stayed the same this time, then try again, but be more specific. Focus on one key aspect or detail of the issue, the one that has the most intensity for you. And you'll find the more specific you are, the better results you see with the tapping. But like anything, although you can get immediate, amazing results with EFT, practice, perseverance and guidance can definitely improve its effectiveness. So use what you've learned here today, go away and practice it as much as you wish. And if you'd like my support, I would love to help you and see you in the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary membership. Remember, we are open to new members on the full subscription membership for today only. And after today, you'll be able to join on the free level, which also puts you on the waiting list for the full membership when we open to new members again. Now, this is likely to be three or four times a year. But if you need support more urgently or have any questions about today's episode, then please do reach out to me. You can email me directly at mail at fertilemindset.com or contact me on Instagram, which is at fertile underscore mindset. Now you have this newfound technique of EFT and know how to use it to support the whole emotional piece of your fertility and indeed your whole life, what are you going to do next with it? If you're not sure where to start, revisiting the last podcast episode, number 19, which was the what of mindset work for fertility could be helpful. And now you have EFT available to use literally at your fingertips. There are other approaches to mindset work that can be supported and enhanced by tapping. Feel free to explore this yourself and do share any winning combinations you discover. But for starters, I suggest using tapping alongside journaling. A daily journaling practice is such a useful way to empty your mind of all the thoughts you have going on and get some clarity with them written out on the page. Tapping before you write can free up your mind and enable the flow of thoughts. And then tapping as you read back the words you have written will help you to balance your emotions and help you gain further clarity around what you've written. Tapping and journaling can be a powerful combination. 
Another way you may wish to use tapping is before your yoga or meditation practice. Tapping to prepare your mind and body and release any unwanted or negative thoughts can help you get so much more out of your practice when your mind feels clear and your body is free of tension. Try it and see how it works for you. Another practice which is greatly enhanced by using tapping is the use of affirmations. Whilst I love the idea of positive affirmations and I also see how seductive they can feel to repeat positive words and affirmations throughout the day to shift our thinking from negative to positive, I'm not a fan of the struggle that can happen. We say a positive affirmation such as, my mind is relaxed and calm, or my body is fertile and welcomes my baby. There then can follow a battle between the new positive words that we are saying and the underlying thoughts and beliefs that are in conflict with them. However, if we focus the tapping on the negative thoughts and beliefs first, reduce their intensity or release them altogether, then we've created the perfect foundation for the positive affirmations to settle onto and to take root. So this brings us to the end of this three-part series on mindset work for fertility. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the why, what and how with me and now feel more prepared and motivated than ever to go forth and do some of this important mindset work for yourself. I look forward to speaking to you again next time on the Fertile Mindset Podcast. I'm so pleased you're listening to the Fertile Mindset Podcast and now I would love to invite you to join us in the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is my fertility support membership, which is focused on taking care of you and helping you enjoy your life while you wait for your baby. In the Sanctuary, I'll guide you through using an amazing technique called EFT or tapping, and you'll soon be feeling less stressed and more joyful. If you're not already in the Sanctuary, do come and join us today because the best time to start receiving support on your fertility journey is always right now. Honestly, it makes such a difference to have good quality emotional support and techniques that you can pick up and use yourself whenever you need them. Go to fertilemindset.com slash sanctuary to join us today. I look forward to hopefully seeing you there and at the next episode of the Fertile Mindset Podcast.